girl Diamond the Slayer and I'm back with another episode. What's good? What's up? If it's your first time here on my channel, what's good? What's up? Why? Why? You understand? I'm your girl Diamond the Slayer. If this is your first time here, this is a fun, 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 fun channel over here on YouTube, okay? If you never been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I have a lot of fun things I do over here on my channel. But my favorite, favorite thing to do on my channel is this segment right here titled Unsigned Critic. Where your girl Diamond the Slayer goes over all the latest hip-hop, R&B, and dance hall reggae music. Yes, reggae. Because your girl Diamond the Slayer is a whole Jamaican out here. Jamaica, America, best of both worlds, that's me. Diamond the Blood Clot Slayer, okay? And I also do a lot of um, influence, social media influencer blogs, popping up at events, meeting out social media influencers. So if you guys are into that, y'all need to go watch some of my other videos on my channel. I do hair videos, makeup videos, so many fun things. Whatever your girl Diamond the Slayer is into at the moment, I bring it to my channel, period. So if you guys are into the same things I'm into, make sure you hit that subscribe button period because you never know what's going down over here on this channel period okay so dimes if you click this link you click the thumbnail you guys already know who we are talking about today in this episode okay we're talking about two queens today in this episode because they both just dropped some videos today and i wanted to talk about it because they're both like on our heads right now when it comes to popularity and just putting out good music that us fans love okay and the first person we're gonna talk about on this channel today is my girl mulatto aka lotto y'all know mulatto sorry lotto just changed her name to lotto because that mulatto stuff was just a lot going on i guess it was like a racial thing um be, having the name a lot of because you know she's i guess she's um black and white mixed so she was trying to embrace the name and it, they social media got the best of mulatto so she changed her name to lotto big lotto to be exact okay and she dropped this song called big um uh, called energy big energy called big energy she literally performed this song, I believe, on the VMAs. It was the first time we heard this song from a lot from Lotto. She came out, she gave a great performance. I enjoyed the performance. Um, once I heard the record on on the performance when she performed at the VMAs, I already knew what type of sound it was. I knew it was gonna be her next single, obviously. And she's obviously trying to have a, a radio hit. That's what I sound from it. Whenever I see these artists come with these big samples or they try to have a sample, I just automatically think it's a cheat code of trying to make sure your song do, you know, pretty well. So now today she actually dropped the actual visuals to the song. I was never really in love with this song. Like, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Lotto Big Energy. I love the idea of this song because, you know, this past summer, Big Energy, Big D energy was like a, a slang that's been going around like you know basically you look at a dude and you just be like just by looking at him his vibe the way he is the way he acts the way he carry himself you could try to kind of guess if you feel like he got a long thing or not you feel me so that's basically what the song is about like a dude just having that energy that vibe that make you be like oh i know that thing is i know that thing is hanging you feel me so that was like a little twang, a little slang that the females of ladies was using. So of course Lotto did her creativity and she turned it to a whole record, you know, which I thought was cool. But like I said, I don't really like the sampling stuff. Like, I didn't really like the sample. She sampled Mariah Carey's song, Fantasy, okay? And can you imagine Mariah Carey's a whole huh, singer out here and Mulatto's a whole rapper out here, okay? Like whatever so let's get into the video a little bit let's get into these outfits because one thing about one thing mulatto did serve in this video was looks okay she definitely served looks like that outfit she came in the video with she had dice dice that skirt with the dice on it i love that outfit i love the theme it fits mulatto perfect y'all know 
her lotto is like big lotto, lotto machines, casino vibes. That's the, I guess you could say her image that's, you know, is going along with her name. Her new chain that she just bought is literally a big slot machine, a big slot machine. So the theme of the video and everything, it, fed, it definitely fed the new vibe they're trying to bring us for lotto, okay? And I did like that. I love the outfit that she wore the, with the dyes and she's on the gambling table. She makeup's a beautiful. Mulatto got her body done. Body is definitely on point. You gotta give Mulatto that. Like, I'm so proud of her coming from the rap game and now just bossing up into this beautiful, beautiful new woman. She's letting us know what type of woman she's turning into, okay? Right in front of our eyes, okay? Another look I really loved in the video was the angel look. The wings when she had the arrow, she looked classy. We're not used to seeing mulatto look this like conservative and classy because ever since she grew up on us, it's just body yaddy 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 yaddy. You know how mulatto giving it to us raw, literally raw. So seeing her in this little subtle angel outfit with her little arrow and stuff like that, I actually enjoyed that. Like. I thought she looked beautiful in that scene or whatever. And another thing, I told y'all she sampled Mariah Carey's fantasy song. And if you listen to the song, once we get mid into the song, my girl Lotto is out here singing, okay? And that's what threw me off and what really made me say, you know what? I'm gonna pass on this song. It's like, Lotto, you really out here singing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> to me, it's like, she's really out here singing, got that real big energy. Like, Lotto, what? You should have just got Mariah for that, baby. You should have just got Mariah. Like, I told you, just the fact that you sampled this song, I felt like it was a reach. To hear you singing, I felt like it was a reach. Not that I don't want you to be a singer or explore your talents. It's just like, I wasn't, that's not what I came here for. <laughs> I didn't come here to hear Mulatto sing. Like, no, period. So I was not feeling that. And of course, I loved her Ladybug outfit. Like, what? That ladybug outfit with the, the titties out, the red and black. She had the wig on with the braids. I loved it while she was laying on like the lily pads. That was a cute ass scene. But when she got to the part where she was dancing with her dancers with the ladybug outfit on, I wasn't feeling it because Malaga, you had no shoes on. <laughs> like, I get it. Like, my whole thing, if y'all want to be performances, y'all competing with people like Normani, Freaking Beyonce, Chloe Bailey. Like, let's talk about it. Like, how y'all competing with these girls, but y'all can't dance in shoes? You can't put on a pair of heels that you know you're gonna kill it in, baby. You're shooting a music video and you it's not even like it was a live performance. You're shooting a video and you had no shoes on. I did not like that. And if y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. I'm just looking like everybody, all the dancers have shoes on, and Mulatto clearly had to take off her heels to get the steps right. And it's like, if you're not a dancer, that's the same thing I talk about like with the city girls, I get they're trying to be better performers, but you do not have to perform like everyone else. If you're not a dancer, why are you dancing? Baby girl, why are you dancing? That's just my opinion, Dom. Like I said, if you made it this far in this video, please hit that subscribe button and make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. And leave me y'all opinions in the comments. Like, are you agreeing with me or are you not? Which it don't even really matter, but like, let's talk about it. Like, if you're going to be a performer, you're going to shoot a music video, like, wear your shoes. Like, please, please wear your shoes. Yeah, so, like I said, overall, Dom's, the song is okay. Like, if I had to rate the song from 1 to 10, I'd probably give it like a 6. Like, it's not a hit song. I feel like Mulatto and her team, Lotto and her team were reaching to find a radio hit that they felt like everybody could gravitate to. It's a sample, Mariah Carey sample. Who doesn't love Mariah? So we'll kind of like already love the song, but I'm not really feeling the song. Like, it's not really given for me compared to all the other Lotto songs that I she was putting out, like the one with Gucci Mane and everything. Like, once she putting out that everybody was gravitating to, this is not it for me. Leave in the comments if you guys love this song and how you guys feel about it, all right? So now I want to get into another female that's out here killing the game. Shout out to Nicki Minaj for sponsoring her, for supporting her, and helping her get on track, okay? And I'm talking about my girl, Bia Bia. I love that she has that 
intro now for all her songs. It's like, Bia, Bia, and eh, y'all talking about my girl Bia. Y'all know she's still on her hiatus with the whole lot of money song, the whole lot of money remix featuring Nicki Minaj. And of course, she wanted to drop a new record to keep her fans pumped up, gaining new fans or whatever. So she literally just dropped out a video today featuring G Herbo. And the video is called Best Bisto. I guess it's called Bisto. So let's get into this video, Bisto. Bia featuring G Herbo, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna say about this song, Bisto, however you pronounce it, I don't know. I'm not Spanish, okay? And about this song, Bia's new song is like, Bia, you just came off of, it's a whole lot of money in it. Don't miss me with that broke shit, that broke shit, get out. You know, all that shit you spit. And now I heard this song and I'm just like so disappointed. <laughs> and I just want to say I'm disappointed. I did not like this song at all. Um, I'm not a G Herbo fan. I don't know if you guys are. I'm not really a G Herbo fan. He has never really put out any music that really has moved me. So I really wasn't excited for the feature, but I was excited for Bia. Like I figured like whatever I was about to listen to, I was gonna have I was gonna love it because you know, why would she put out something that she didn't hundred percent believe in? But then as I listened to the song, I realized it's like a I don't want to say a trap record, but it's a hip hop, it's a hip hop record mixed with Spanish. She's like hip hop, but she's saying Spanish, she's speaking Spanish. I believe Bia probably is Spanish or whatever like that. So she's catering to her fan base or whatever like that. And more power to you, Bia. More power to your Spanish community. All you guys, no hate, no shame. You, all the Spanish community, I believe y'all probably love this song. You know, I'm not Spanish. So that's probably why I was just kind of like ready to turn up with Bia, but I didn't really know what she was saying in some of the parts. You could kind of put two and two together if you're not Spanish to understand, but I just felt like this song was not for everyone. She, Yeah, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for her new fans that she built or gained from a whole lot of money. And that's what made me got turned off by this song because I just felt like, Bia, you just came from a release with Nicki Minaj. Like, if you was going to drop something, you were supposed to drop something for, like, for everybody. Not just for your community or your... You know, you know, hopefully she had more music dropping. But I just felt like if everybody has their eye on you right now, this is not the time to just be putting out mediocre shit. Like, it's not the time for it. So I really was not feeling it. I'm sorry. If you guys are Spanish, if you are Dominican, Puerto Rican, whatever it is that you guys rep and you are watching this video, please leave in the comments and let me know. Being a Puerto Rican or being a Dominican descent, was this a song that you guys love? Was it something that you you really respect from Bia? How did you guys feel about the record? I I don't really know how I felt. I really didn't like it because of that. Because I felt like it wasn't for me. So if you let me know how you guys felt about it. And I did G Herbo. His verse was cool. Like I said, I was never really a G Herbo fan. The verse was cool. But it was nothing stand out about it. Like I felt like we couldn't, we never really needed him. And Bia was making a song for her people. She ain't even need you here, bro. To me, that's my opinion. You understand? That's my opinion. The overall video, Bia looks amazing. She, you know, she's upcoming. She has the look. She has the vibe. She, everything about the video was cool. It was regular. Nothing special. Nothing stand out ish like nothing too crazy and i just hope that be it on drop the ball on this and that she could give us another record i'm not saying we need a record as big as whole lot of money i'm not saying that but we know Bia be had a couple records before a whole lot of money she had a record with um i like the way she worked and always was first day and la, 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 la. You know, she had a record, so it's just like, I believe in her. I know she could come again. I just wish she put out another record. Because one thing I noticed, like, fans will be on you, on you, on you. And then after they get on you and then they have their focus on you and you start dropping whack shit, that's how they leave focus. They don't be on you no more, you know? 
And this was the moment where my eyes was on Bia because of a whole lot of money. So now when she dropped this, I was on her like, oh, what she got coming next? And she lost me. You understand? So if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments how you guys felt about the Bia feature in G Herbo, the Lotto, Big Energy song. Let me know. Y'all know on this channel, I don't like to gossip. I don't like to talk about our celebrities because they work so hard on their music. And I just feel like I use my platform just to give them my opinions. And I want my dimes, my followers, my subscribers to also leave in the comments their opinions too. So when these celebrities start to see it, they can have an idea of what we expect from them, what we like from them, and what we don't like. You know, and it's okay to tell an artist you love that you don't like something. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. As long as you say it respectfully and you're not trying to diss their craft that they work so hard on. You know, if you don't like it, you know, you're just not fucking with this. This is not it for you, you know, but you're not giving up on your artist. So, that's why I started this whole thing called Unsigned Critics because I'm a music hip-hop head, a dance hall reggae head. Like, I just love music. And I love to talk about it with my friends and my family. So I just started this channel and said, let me talk about it with the world. And we can have, see if we're on the same page with certain shit over or not. So that's why I want you guys to hit that subscribe button. Let me know. Who are you guys listening to? Who would you guys like to see me review? Let's have a discussion about their music or their hard work, things that they're working on. You know what I'm saying? Um, NBA Youngboy. He just dropped a whole album this today you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna definitely do a review on nba young boys album only reason i have to listen to it it's you know me when i do album reviews i like to listen to the album at least two three times before i give my opinion on it because it's i don't want to just give it a first time list i have to listen to these albums give it a real good critique write down notes like y'all y'all know i take my unsigned critic very serious you know so Y'all stay tuned for my critique on NBA Youngboy's new album that he just dropped. Shout out to him. I heard it's already number one. So shout out to him for that. And like I said, make sure y'all hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Diamond the Slayer. And go check out some of my other videos on my channel, some of my vlogs. I just recently went to Jada Chai's. Um, I, um, what she had? Jada Chai's hype hair magazine cover release party i had a bad ball i vlogged it y'all can check out some of my taylor girls vlogs i went to some of their events and i have so much other things coming up on my channel i just need you guys to stay tuned hit subscribe and hit like okay so like i said i love you guys if you guys made it this far to this video shout out to y'all and i will be back with another video soon as hell because y'all know your girl is very consistent on her channel and if you guys are looking for a new youtuber to watch i'm right here and like i said let me know in the comments other songs you guys would like me to review even if they're upcoming artists and they're not on yet let me know we we do that too over here all right later guys